April is Child Abuse Prevention Month, and one local organization that works with child abuse survivors is expanding. Yeah, Idaho Youth Ranch. They're building a residential facility in Canyon County, and as our Anna Zalian explains, that's a project that's been in the works for years. Many Idaho kids who need long term residential care for their mental or behavioral health have to go out of state. So Idaho Youth Ranch is building a residential facility right here in the Treasure Valley. They're under construction right now in this building behind me is going to be a dorm. But this project is more than just this one building. It's embedded in a phenomenal 258 acre campus. Access to the outdoors, to streams and ponds and forests. The property really screams Idaho. Right now, this campus is home to Idaho Youth Ranch's equine therapy program, which is exactly what it sounds like. Therapy with horses. The horses have an amazing natural ability to pick up on what you're feeling. This doesn't mean riding horses, though. The sessions mostly take place right in the horse's pasture with an equine therapist like Sadie Nebaker, who runs the session and another staff member to make sure everyone is staying safe with the horses. But there's no typical session. One of my favorite things to do is we take a horse to the car. Sadie remembers one child who was having a panic attack and couldn't get out of the car. So the kid's in the car and we open the door and the horse comes to the kid and it kind of nuzzles and, and sits with the kid. Eventually, the horse helped the kid to calm down so they could get out of the car and join the session. And this is just one of many stories Sadie remembers from her sessions. Not all of them even involve the horses. Some involve using props like these to work through things. Soon, these horses will have a lot of company, thanks to the 64-bed residential facility under construction. With the national youth mental health crisis, more mental health care options are obviously needed, but this project fills a big gap in Idaho. And particularly those that are on Medicaid or low income, they have to send their children to other state to get their needs met. These families aren't always sending their kids to neighboring states. We have a lot of young people from Idaho in Georgia and Arkansas and Texas and really all across the United States. This center will serve a range of kids who haven't been successful in outpatient mental health treatment like traditional therapy. And soon this half built dorm will look like this and these non existent buildings will become a year round school, wellness center, a welcome center, dining hall and indoor and outdoor recreation. Back in 2015, we reported Idaho Youth Ranch received a $7.5 million donation from an anonymous donor for this project. Now we have raised almost all of the dollars we need to complete this project debt free. So um, and you and you can now see it happening. It's there are still ways you can help, though. We really want support coming to this from every corner of Idaho. So that the young people that come here, who are going to come here from every county in Idaho, will know folks from their area supported making it happen. Idaho Youth Ranch is also trying to get the word out about job openings for this facility. Just like other industries, Idaho Youth Ranch has been struggling with filling open positions, but they say this problem is fading and hopefully won't interfere with staffing the new facility. They're hoping to find more people like Sadie, who says this is the perfect opportunity. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity. This is a truly a dream job. And Idaho Youth Ranch is expecting to have construction complete and the facility ready for use in about a year. Anna Azalian, Idaho News 6.